Hey, welcome back to another Axe Family video. We hope you're doing well. It is Christmas Eve, and so we are actually filming this video a couple days uh, ago. So it's the 22nd uh, when we're filming this, but when you're watching it, it's Christmas Eve. And our thought was, we're filming two videos right now, the Christmas Eve one and one for Christmas. So they're gonna post today, as you're watching this on Christmas Eve, or if you're watching it later, uh, post on Christmas Eve and then on Christmas. And that will give us some time to hang out with our friends here uh, on Christmas Eve and Christmas and not have to worry about um, filming a video or or editing a video, etc. Give us a little break uh, from posting every day. Because, uh, yeah, I've been posting a lot of videos since like February, almost every day. Um, so it's been a lot. Uh, but we thought, uh, as it is Christmas Eve, that we would talk a little bit about uh, Christmas traditions that our families have had. And uh, do you want to go first? Like, what has your family done <laughs> growing up? Like, is there anything specific that you can remember that, you know, that they did every year? Um, on Christmas Eve, we would normally go to a Christmas Eve uh, church service. Um, when I was younger, and then on Christmas Day, we always ate this, like, big pastry in the morning, and maybe my mom will comment and remind me of, what the, of the name of it, because I don't remember, um, but it was like a big, crispy cinnamon roll, and you would bake it and then cut it up into, like, you know, individual pieces, so that would always be our breakfast, um, and it is to this day, whenever we're back there, um, on Christmas, we still eat that. And what else would we do? I've had that once, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I remember having some type of yeah. big pastry. Yeah. Um, on Christmas Day dinner, um, this is kind of a, tr a tradition for most holidays with my family, but we get um, poppers, which is what we call them. I don't know if that's what they're actually called, but they're, they have handles on both sides and they're made out of like paper oh, yeah. and then you get a partner and you pull each side and it pops and the prize comes out and they're like little little magic tricks or like a little deck of cards or a little toy of some sort even though we're all grown ups we still do that um that's most holidays we do that but we i just always remember that on christmas um mm. popping those and then we'd always get little chocolate santas with our dinners yeah i remembered doing those too. Not with my family, but when I yeah. had Christmas with your family last. Uh, my family would, uh, on Christmas morning, we would make Swedish pancakes, uh, which are very similar, probably the same thing as crepes, you know, really thin pancakes, and then you can put different things inside of it, and you would roll it up, and then cut it, and then... But there's a way to roll it up. Yeah. I remember when I had it with your family, I didn't know what I was doing. And you taught me to, like, poke the fork in it. Yeah, like, put and the then fork you in twist and it. pull the fork out and then twist it. I had no idea. Yeah. So that was a, a good tradition that um, I enjoyed. Also, uh, one Christmas and when I was a kid, we got a Nintendo 64 and we got Super Mario. And at some point, I don't know when it was, but it just became a yearly like Christmas tradition for me to sit down and beat that whole entire game on Christmas Day uh, <laughs> or it was either Christmas Day or Christmas Eve. How long would it take you? Um, I could do it in a couple hours huh. I think. Um, so I got pretty good at that that game <laughs> and I and uh, my mom's pretty good at it too so that was yeah. kind of a fun thing. Um, we had a big tall ceiling in our house. I think it's like 18 feet or something like that. It's big. So we would get a pretty large Christmas tree. And I remember one year we got one that was like, it was either touching the ceiling or we had to cut it a little bit shorter so it wouldn't touch the ceiling. And we put tarps around the Christmas tree and ratchet straps to like get it really small. <laughs> Cause we cut it down yeah. and then that way we could get it in the door and then once Christmas was over you know instead of like 
trying to strap it all down. I think we cut it in pieces inside the house with the chainsaw possibly <laughs> <laughs> or just a saw. I can't remember, but then we took it out back. And uh, so we've always had really big uh, Christmas trees. I think at one point, yeah, we did have a fake tree for a while, um, but we've had a lot of live Christmas trees in the house. So you get that smell and then you get pine needles everywhere and everything. So, uh, I wonder what our traditions will be. Yeah, I know. I was, I was thinking about that. Something that we can come up with. It's kind of fun when you, you know, are married, you can figure out what do you want to keep or what do you want to start new? And so comment down below. I'm curious what, what does your family do? What's something that you enjoy doing? You know, uh, traditions for Christmas. And then also, do you guys have like a real Christmas tree or a fake Christmas tree or no you, Christmas tree? Yeah. Do you not celebrate Christmas? Um, comment that down below um, and we can kind of just see what everybody does. It's, it's interesting. So there's a bunch of different, um, like I know some people like will open one present on Christmas Eve and then on Christmas Day they'll like open all the presents or... Or they'll do like family pajamas on Christmas Eve. Yeah, and or all get their own stockings set. or uh, some families will like instead of like on Christmas Eve they'll open their presents but then on Christmas Day they go and serve somewhere like at a homeless shelter or something. And I'm like, I like that idea. This idea of like giving back. Um, at least like if we have kids, kids someday like I want them to learn like how to receive a gift but I also want them to learn to give and not just on Christmas but all the time but I think it'll be good to take some portion of the holiday to like give and mm -hmm. and serve others so we yeah. used to do meals on wheels what is that? that we would go to like this organization called meals on wheels and they would prepare dinners like boxed meals for people who couldn't like leave their place if they were injured or they were elderly and they couldn't drive anywhere. So we would go pick up a bunch of boxes of meals and then go deliver them, Meals on Wheels, um, mm. to different people just around our town. If you're, if you're new to the channel, uh, we have been traveling for the last 10 months all around the country, visiting friends and family and other YouTubers, and it's been a blast. It's been a long journey, and we're still having a lot of fun. Uh, we are like a little bit tired of traveling, um, just if we're being honest, but at the same time, like we have no complaints and we're mm -hmm. super thankful for this season and this, uh, this whole time that we've been able to see the whole country. We've seen a lot of places that we probably would have never seen if we hadn't taken this trip. I don't know if we would. Did we say, I think we're at like 28 states now, maybe 29. Yeah. Well, after Wyoming. Well, we went to South Dakota, Wyoming, and now we're 30. in Montana, so. 30. 31. 31. Yeah, so 31 states so far. Um, we're not planning on going to all the states, but that's kind of what we've been doing, if you're new to the channel. So we'd invite you to subscribe and check out some more of our videos. And then hit that uh, thumbs up button, help us win the YouTube thumb war. And we'll see you in the next one. Hats off to you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs>